Hello viewers, as we know concrete has main two properties, first one is fresh properties and the second one is hardened properties. The both properties are important for the concrete mass. In the fresh properties, we are finding the workability which is as of the mixing, transporting, placing and the finishing of the concrete mass. And in case of the hardened properties, we are finding the strength of the concrete. In this session, we will find the workability of concrete. And as we know, the workability can be find out with the different test like slum test, compacting factor test, flow test, VB consistometer test and caliber test. So these are the five tests available for finding the workability of concrete. In this session, we will find workability with compacting factor test. So let us discuss in detail. Workability. Workability is defined as the property of freshly mixed concrete or mortar which determines as as and homogeneously which it can be mixed placed, transported and the finishing of the concrete mass. So this is the workability and we will find the workability with the using of compacting factor test. The object is to determine the workability of concrete mix of given proportion by the compaction factor test. You can see on your screen the apparatus used for the finding the compacting factor test. This is the compacting factor apparatus having upper hopper, lower hopper and cylindrical. So we require compaction factor apparatus. Second one is trowel and weighing machine for the weighing of samples. Now let us discuss about procedure for finding the workability of the concrete mass with using of the compacting factor testing machine. First of all, the sample of concrete can be tested is gently placed in the upper hopper W1 and level it. Second one is trap door is open and the concrete is allowed to fall in the lower hopper. You can see on your screen this is the upper hopper, this is the lower hopper and this is the cylindrical and each hopper has trap door and you can open it easily with this handle. So after the placing the concrete in the upper hopper then you have to open this trap door and the allow to fall concrete in the lower hopper and then you have to allow this concrete mass to the cylindrical with its own weight with opening this lower hopper trap door. So after the filling the concrete in the cylindrical measures the excess remaining above the top level of the cylindrical is cut off and removed. The outside of the concrete is wiped clean. Now we have a concrete mass in the cylindrical mold. So we have to weight this sample and the weight of concrete in the cylindrical measure. This concrete is known as a partially compacted concrete. 
and weight of this concrete is known as the weight of partially compacted concrete because we have not done fully compaction on this sample. I repeat this process. First of all, we have to take the sample of the concrete mass and then we have to fill this concrete in the upper hopper and then after the filling of the upper hopper, we have to open the trap door of the upper hopper then allow to concrete fall into the lower hopper with its own weight. Then once again, we have to open lower trap door of the lower hopper and then concrete is allowed to fall into the cylindrical. Now we have partially compacted concrete then we have to weight that and we have weight of partially compacted concrete. Now what is next in this test? Then we have to use the concrete mass to fill the cylindrical mold and we have to fill once again with the compaction. So we have to fill the concrete in the cylindrical from the same layer with the layer of 5 cm you can say 50 mm deep and each layer should be heavily ramped or perfectly vibrated to obtain full compaction of the concrete mass. Now we have to get the fully compacted concrete mass. For that we have to remove the partially compacted concrete from the cylinder and then we have to fill this concrete mass in the cylindrical for getting the fully compacted concrete mass. But in that case you have to compact with the heavy rammer. And and in this case, you have to compact of each layer with the 50 mm height. And then we can easily get the well compacted concrete. And weight of these samples, we can get the fully compacted concrete mass weight. It's known as the weight of fully compacted concrete. So, we can easily calculate the compacting factor by the ratio of weight of partially compacted concrete to the weight of fully compacted concrete. And depending on the compacting factor, you can easily find out the workability of concrete. You can see on your screen, the table shows that compacting factor with the different values, for example, 0.78, 0 0.85, 0 0.92, 0 0.95. It means it shows that the workability of concrete. If your concrete having less than 0 0.78, it means the concrete has very low degree of workability. If your concrete has between 0 0.78 to 0 0.85, it means your concrete has the low degree of workability. If your concrete has between 0 0.85 to 0 0.95 of the compacting factor value, it means your concrete has medium degree of workability. If your compacting factor value is greater than 0 0.95, it means your concrete has the high degree of the workability. So depending upon the compacting factor, you can easily find out the degree of workability because the value of compactive factor compacting factor shows that the degree of workability so this is a very simple test you can easily find out the workability with this test now let us discuss about observations and calculations here the table shows that we have taken the different water cement ratio for 0 0.5 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. I would like to add one more point. The With increasing the water cement ratio, you will get the high workability. So, with the increasing of the water cement ratio, your workability will be high. In the first weight, you have to measure the partially compacted. Then, you have to measure the weight of the fully compacted concrete. 
and then you can easily find out the compaction factor with the ratio of partially compacted to the fully compacted of the concrete. Now, which are the precautions we should take while we are doing performance on the compaction factor test? First one is the top hopper must be filled gently. Second, mix should not be pressed or compacted in the hopper. We have to just fill in the gentle way. And next, the, if the concrete is the upper hopper does not fall through when the trap door is released, it should be free by the passing of the metal rod. A single steady penetration will usually effect release. In some case, with the low workability, the concrete are facing to move from the upper hopper to the lower hopper or lower hopper to the cylindrical hopper. But in that case, we don't require to the vibration. In that case, we have to use the metal rod for the releasing of the concrete for the further movement. So these precautions we require for the compaction factor test. So this is all about the compacting factor test for concrete because workability is one of the important properties in our construction field. Thank you.